Hi guys, just Nicole here. So during the lockdown I've just been having a little mess around with my nails. So I did the pencil nail and I've done the knife and fork nail. So I thought I would show you how I've been doing this using poly build and I'm going to make a spoon nail on this hand. So you'll find that the poly build is so much more easier to design with because as you know it doesn't set until you pop it into your lamp for 60 seconds. So normally if I make anything with acrylic you have to be quite quick and fast paced and then it's easier. So anyways it's easier to do it with the poly build. So I'm going to use the nude poly build to do this with. And I've also got my poly build liquid control. So I've used this as the perfect excuse to get back to my creative side. I'm just being basically just messing around and having some fun with nails. So I'm using the halo forms and I've left the extra length on the end because I'm going to make this nail quite long so that I can make me cut out with it. So I've already applied my rubber base coat and I'll just pop that on my nail there. Just dipping in my liquid control, my brush. I'm just going to start to sculpt this nail. And I'm going to start with the cuticle area. Getting that nice and neat. And then going down the other side. So I haven't tried the spoon yet, but I've kind of got an idea what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to wing it and see what happens. And I'm going to pause the video in between when I'm setting it in the lamp. So I'm starting to stick a little bit. So I'm just going to dip another little we brush into the control. And I think how I'm going to do this is I'm going to make the extreme length first. How beautiful is the nude? I'm going to drag this down and I'm going to attempt to make a spoon shape on the end. I'm going to thin this out a little bit on the sides. So I've basically got a shape on my nail there. So instead of curing this first, I'm going to take out another little scoop. To attempt the spoon. So I've got another lump there and I'm just going to pop this on the edge. Some liquid control, and here it goes. So, I'm going to try and put a dent in the middle. And I'm just going to blend this back a little bit. And it seems to be working. Try and get a more spoon shape. On the edge. If you all have a little go at this, if you have the poly build, and then pop some photos on the Pure Nails Halo Gel Polish Facebook group and show us some designs that you've done. 
So I'm just going to try and dip this down a little bit more and get some more control. And I've had so much fun over the last two days just messing around with this stuff. I'm just going to give that a lip because I need it to hold some sugar for my cuppa. So I don't know if you can see, I'm just flipping it up a little bit. more control just a dab I'm gonna widen that out and we're getting somewhere it's so easy to work with you can take as much time as you want to fix any bits that you're not happy with because it won't set until it goes in the lamp. Sorry, I just went a bit out there. So I think I might cure this. And see if we need to do anything with it. A spoon. How cute. So I'm going to pop that in the lamp for 60 seconds and then I'll show you what's happening next. So I've had this in the lamp for 60 seconds and I'm just going to take off my foam. And we have a little spoon on the edge. But it's a little bit thin here, so I'm gonna pop a little bit more of me nude in the middle here and some liquid control. And I'm just gonna pat this down and blend it in. It's a bit better. And then I'm going to blend this end in. I like to shape this in as much as I can so I don't have to do loads of filing in the shape afterwards. That's the beauty of the poly build. Right. I like it. So I'm going to pop that back in the lamp for 60 seconds. So my spoon has been in the lamp and you can see the little dip on the edge there. I'm going to use my Halo Prep and Scrub. And my Elite Wipes to remove the tacky layer. And then I'm going to file this into some shape and just refine the edges and I'll be back. So that was probably the weirdest filing ever ever done. I couldn't remember what a spoon actually looked like. But we have kind of a spoon going on. So to get rid of my dust, I'm going to spray some prep and scrub and my plush brush. 
we have a spoon and because I had to grab everything from the salon before we're locked up I completely forgot to grab a grey gel polish so I'm just going to quickly show you how I would make a grey so I'm just going to use a little bit of the halo black and halo french white And I'm going to use my Halo brush and I'm just going to do the lombre in the middle and just start mixing this colour in. use a dotting tool if you wish but I'm just messing around here so it's pretty great so I'm going to pop my first layer on and I'm going to pop it in the lamp for 30 seconds so I only put one coat of me polish on and I've top coated it because obviously I'm not going to keep this nail on for very long so I'm going to go and boil the kettle and put this nail to test so I've boiled my kettle, got my coffee ready, and I kind of get my hand inside of my sugar jar. So I've just put some in here. So here it goes. This is so hard. We have sugar. One lump. Two lump. Yay! Guys, don't forget to go on our Facebook page and check out the daily challenges and weekly challenges as well. And I can put all of your nail designs on there and it'll keep you busy during the lockdown like it has done for me. Stay safe.